Uh, yeah, hey guys, um, 2D Minecraft here today, um, and today I'm going to be starting a tutorial series where I teach you how to make Minecraft hack clients. Um, okay, so now to set up the programs we're going to need to use, we're going to need two programs, one called Eclipse and one called Minecraft Coder Pack. Okay, um, so type in on the internet Minecraft Coder. Ooh, go to pack. and you want to select this one there will be links in the description but this one and then select the latest version and press that ok once you've got that you can just put it on your desktop and the other program you're going to need is a program called Eclipse and there's a download section here and download whichever version you need and you might need a Java JDK Okay, so now once you've downloaded the MCP, which I have here, you're going to create a new folder and call it Minecraft Client, and that's where, and you're going to drag MCP into that. It stands for Minecraft Coders Pack, and you're going to want to extract here. Okay, here we are. So now that I have to extracted it here. One sec. Okay, guys. Um. Okay. The next thing you need to do once you've done all that is to press start. Type in run. Percent app data percent. Okay. It will then load you up with this. Uh. And then you want to go to dot Minecraft. And you then in your hack client folder you want to open the jars. Okay. And you should have two folders. You then want to copy this versions folder and paste it in here and copy resource packs and paste it in here. <coughs> then the next thing you want to do is to go out to the main folder and run this decompile uh, batch file. Okay, it takes a minute so um, I'm going to come back I'm going to come back once it's done. Um, hey guys, I'm back. As you can see, it's finished decompiling. It should just give me a bunch of code. Press any key to continue. Okay, right, the next thing now we can close our hack client folder and we can open the folder wherever we had Eclipse. Okay, so you want to open, you want to run your Eclipse. Or, uh, you might have a shortcut on the desktop, I have on there, but anyway, um, you want to run Eclipse and now that this is the hard bit, you want to choose the location you want to press browse and find your desktop and locate to the folder you just created I called it uh, Minecraft hack client and then you want to choose that Eclipse folder and just press that you don't need to narrow it down anymore and press OK 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 right OK as you can see Eclipse is loading up and it should when it's been loaded up if I wait for it. Loading the workbench. It should come up. Okay. Here we go. This is Eclipse and it this is good. The, the server has an exclamation mark and this has a slight warning caution sign. That means it's done correctly. And well not really but it means it's working. And as you can see here you have all the source files for Minecraft under this. These are all source files you're probably going to need for hacking. And just as a quick end thing, I'm going to show you what you are going to be making throughout the series. This is, should be the final result of what we create. So, hang on a sec, if we quick title, we should have, be able to colour this, go into single player, and have a nice GUI on the side with the keys and a good couple of facts. So, when I press it, it will turn green. Just like this. There we are, guys. Um, okay, thanks for watching. That's going to be the end of this uh, tutorial. Please stay in for the next part. Um, bye. I'm out.